Yo, hey guys, what's up? This is your Yadavir Singh. Welcome back to my channel. And today, I got my people over here, and I'm going to show you how it actually is when we are talking about direct and indirect approach. What I decided is to actually show you what is an indirect and direct approach. What is it all fucking about, my friend? As an average guy, he's going to come and talk to this woman standing over here. So let's just see how an average guy comes and talks to a woman, and let's see how is he going to respond to everything she is going to say or do. How do you approach me? As an average guy, how does he do? You do a job. You want a promotion. And you do a lot of hard work. The last girlfriend was with her. She was with her. You are 26 years old. Got it. Hey, excuse me. Oh, hi. Uh, what's your name? Akriti. My name is Van. Hi, Van. What you What you do, Akriti? I'm a fashion stylist. Oh, what's Why you love fashion styling? Oh, I'm all. I've always been into fashion, actually. Really. This is the thing I love styling people, styling myself, buying new dresses, makeup. That's all I love. You seem to be very, very stop, excited stop, about stop, fashion. Stop, stop. This is no. <laughs> Be, be rejecting in nature. Oh. Why are you talking to me? I want a boyfriend. Okay, okay, come again. Come again. Alright. Excuse me, hi. Oh, yes. What what's your name? Akriti. My name is Van. Hi Van, how are you? I'm doing fine. What do you do here? Uh actually I'm here waiting for my friend. Oh, you're waiting for your friend? Yes. Is your friend coming nearby? Oh actually I was just texting him. Got it, yeah. got it. My name is Van and I work here. Okay. And I do different things here, mm -hmm. and I saw you. I saw. I, I think I'll introduce myself. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Akriti. Yes. What do you do? Uh, actually, I'm a teacher. Are you I teacher? Do you like teaching or not? Yes. I, I hate teachers. My teacher used to beat me, but then I got a really good relationship with her. Then uh, we married, actually, and then we had kids. Okay. Actually, I can't go. Yeah, sure. So guys, I want you to know that guys have a very bad idea of knowing what's an indirect and direct approach. When we talk about indirect approach, you don't have to go to a woman and be like, uh, hey, hi, do you know uh, where is McDonald's? That's not indirect approach. You can never be indirect when it comes to your intention, when it comes about male to female dynamics. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how I'm going to talk and lose myself this interaction. So let's just see, I am going to be the average guy first. Let's go for it. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Uh, are you from around here? Um, not actually. Okay, actually uh, I just saw you so I thought I should just come and say hi. Uh, do I know you? I'm sorry, have a nice day. <laughs> now I want her to be really bitchy. Let's see what happens. Excuse me, hi, I'm from around here. Who are you? Do you want to know me? Give me a high five. Fish pump. No, oh guy. no, this ugly guy, poor guy, why does he come here and start talking? talking to me? Oh Do you God, want to know? know you? Give me a fish pump. No. Is it all why are you so rude? Where are you from? How do you feel coming so close to me? Stop, tell me now. Why are you smiling? Because actually I got a smiling face. I always smile. Are you always this bitchy? Why do you look oh. like why do you look like Pikachu? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You came here and started <laughs> insulting me. What the fuck? Do <laughs> you want me to leave right now? Yes, right now. Say fuck off. Say, oh say fuck off. Say fuck off. Oh, I'll leave. Say fuck off. Say oh. fuck off. Oh. Uh, stop touching me. That's two thousand dollars. Oh, say fuck, fuck off. off. <laughs> say fuck <laughs> off. Stop thinking about fucking. Stop thinking about fucking right now. So guys, if you don't know, you know, this kinky kind of interaction usually happen inside nightclub exactly like this. So all of those shit tests that are coming your way, you know how many guys want to have sex with her? Do you think she's gonna f the first guy she hits who's gonna come and start talking to her? She's gonna fucking screen them. How are you going to pass the shit test? Shit test talks about congruence. How congruent are your thoughts, words and actions? So you see when your thoughts, words and actions are congruent, 
your spontaneous in nature. You control the frame of the interaction. There's a buildup of masculine and feminine polarity because one person is controlling the frame and the other person is reacting to the frame. And this creates polarity and the polarity creates attraction. <laughs> okay, this is how most of the guys, you know, this guy doing a job, he's in his college, he, he doesn't have much of the social circle, he has never been sexual, doesn't know any shit about it. This is how he's going to talk most of the times. So let's see what am I going to do. I'm going to be totally indirect. Indirect means I'm not going to go to her and tell her I like you, blah, blah, blah. Totally indirect. Let's see how it goes. Excuse me. Hi, I come around here. Are you talking What's to your me? name? Hi. Yeah. Okay. Whom, hi. whom do you think I'm talking to? You can Who shake my hand. Do I, I don't have AIDS. It's okay. Hi. Hi. What do you do? Uh, do I know you? Do you love shaking my hand? <laughs> no, actually. It's okay. It's okay. Ask me my name. Why are you so rude? I'm sorry. Are you always this rude? I don't know you. You, do, you don't like hot guys? Not at all. I, I don't know you. Do you want to know me? <laughs> now, as you can see, I was totally indirect in the beginning. But what's direct is not in terms of your words. It's in terms of your intention. It's the way I'm looking. It's the way I'm smiling. It's how close I'm standing. There are so many other factors that gathers 93% of the total information in a human brain, which is not even verbal. Now I'm going to be direct. That's just mostly I do. Whatever I feel, I'm going to go there and tell her. Let's just see how she's going to respond. Excuse me, hi. I just saw you. I just saw you. Okay. And I thought the very way you were standing, I really loved it. What's your name? Hi. Thank you. It's okay. You don't ask the name? Okay, actually, I don't know you. Do you know me? Do you think I know you? I don't know. Do you think do you think this is a do you think this is a chapter in a novel? Do you love to dance? Oh god, you talk quite a lot. Do I? Yes. You're quite observant maybe. <laughs> I'm just oh. kidding. How do you how do you like shaking my hand? Okay. How do you like shaking my okay. hand? Okay. Do you want to go away? Leave me forever? The guy you met on the street. Are you okay? How, how do you feel standing so close to me? <laughs> so, I was totally direct in nature over here. So, what you can see is, it doesn't matter if it is indirect or direct. Because the actual thing is in your intention. The very way you build the frame. So that this desire that you are having. So that you can have a private time with her. Can come for the completion. But it is not going to happen. If you are going to stress out on only one thing. How do I go and start the interaction? Because if I ask her right now, can you come here? Do you remember how I started talking to you? Uh, the first line. The first part. If, you, if I ask you, tell me now, do you remember? Uh, not exactly. Opener doesn't matter, guys. Stop stressing about what should be the first line I should go and say to her. It doesn't matter. Because the actual game starts after the opener. So if you want to know more things, you can join the upcoming immersion programs and boot camps and I will see you until next time. Are you gonna miss it out on this? I don't know. You're gonna suffer bitches. <laughs> Anyways guys, <laughs> I'm not going to add this stuff. Anyways guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because more amazing content is coming and I'll see you until next time.